And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Arx Fatalis. We're here in our little stash area because I want to read about the races of Arx. You may remember that uh, we're supposed to find dragon eggs, and I haven't seen any dragons yet. So, goblins, trolls, red men, dwarves, sisters. There we go. Very little is known about the dragons. However, scholars have noticed that there are 4,815 scales on every specimen studied. That's not very helpful. I thought maybe there would be something in there that would tell us where to look for them. Oh well. <sighs> let's, uh, let's do the other thing first. And we need the dragon axe to enchant a magic weapon. A mithril weapon. So, let's make the mithril weapon first, I guess. We need the Kolk powder for that, because we're supposed to actually create a alloy. Mithril Kolk alloy. And the only ones who have the equipment and knowledge to create mithril stuff are the dwarves. So I think we gotta go there then. Alright. Yeah, this place isn't too welcoming, but we didn't actually go inside, so let's see what we can find. Yeah. Okay, well, I got a couple of things here, so we should be fine. A couple of torches, health potions, and everything. I still have mana. Oh, right. No magic permitted. Yeah, great. Well, that's my biggest advantage gone. Okay, well, I'm not... I I'm, I'm gonna be okay, I hope. Okay. So all the doors are locked or collapsed. And that just leaves this one entrance we saw. Could actually look kinda comfy in here, what with the burning chimney fire and all that, if it wasn't for all the blood and chunks and guts. Uh, I don't like this. Can we actually get back out if we need to? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we're at least not, you know prisoned or anything. That's good. Okay, let's let's look around a little bit, I suppose. Magma's everywhere here. The dwarves must be really resistant to heat, or at least enjoy it somewhat. There's magma openly everywhere. Okay, so there's the foundry, but we're not getting there anytime soon. Weird that this magma is actually dark. Maybe it's cooled off, I don't know. Hmm. What the? That's not good. And that's locked. Ugh, what is that? It's big. Oh, right, I don't have magic. Crud. I know it's pretty slow, but... I don't want to get close to it. That's open. That's locked, of course, so I guess we have one choice and one choice only. What the? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Remember, I don't have levitation right now. I have to actually jump. Will it follow us? Oh God, that's a big jump. Ugh. There, right be behind the uh, pipe, there's actually the opening in the wall, I wonder. I hear footsteps. That must be the, the thing there, but... It's not actually following us. I guess it can make that jump. Which is good. Okay. Well, we're definitely in the uh, dwarf area now. Okay, that door's locked. Guess we need a key or something. I don't have anything new from here. And this part is blocked off too, and uh. a mutilated dwarf corpse, of course. Great. 
ripped apart actually. And a quake. Okay, what do we have here? A power stone. Looks kind of like a drill actually. Uh, dwarf flesh. Ugh. Why would I want that? Little metal key. And forge instruction manual. That'll come in handy. Alright. I'm not gonna eat that, so we're just gonna put that over here, I think. I have a key, let's put that on here. We may need it. Maybe it's for the door up above. Power stone. Don't know what to do with that just yet. Let's read the... Uh, hold, hold on, let's make that there. Ah, okay. Let's read the instructions. To make a metal object, you must use two machines. First, you should use the ingot maker. This machine will melt your ore to obtain a calibrated ingot. The following steps describe how to make an ingot. Place a powerful stone in the machine to give it energy. Ah. Must be the power stone, right? Put two large pieces of ore into the oven. Take care not to put two different types of ore in at the same time. Well, how are we supposed to make a mat alloy if that... Oh, oh hold on. Uh, should the need arise to bind the metal, add a reagent to the mix. I'm guessing that's where the cold powder comes into it. Pull the lever to make the ingot. Next, the foundry should be used as follows. Place the power stone in the machine to give it energy, okay. Put the mold of the object you wish to make into the caster. Put the ingot in the oven. Pull the lever to produce the desired object. Okay, well that's actually pretty simple. That's a plug and play instruction to foundry work, I suppose. To creating a weapon. It's kind of cool. Ah, crud. Well, we got a key. Um, hold on, key. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, no, 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 no. Stay. Stand back. That thing is way too close, man. Um, let's keep going. Uh. Okay, that's a dead end. I don't want to go here. There's a door. Locked. Uh, there's a ladder. There's a ladder. Let's uh, let's get up here. Luckily, the thing is so slow. Otherwise, I would already be dead. Oh, try to jump. I think. Can it jump up here? I hope not. Uh. Though if it cannot jump or climb, then how did the dwarves die? Why didn't they all get up here and hide? Maybe the ladder was too high up for them. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't like it. Okay, where do we go now? Well, we came from uh, not from that tunnel. We came from this tunnel. That door is locked, so that leaves that way to go. And there's blood and guts everywhere. What else do we have? Uh, what is that armor or something? That's no, that's something else. Let's uh, a mold to make a two-handed sword. That's kind of nifty. Yeah, we can use that. Sure. Look at that. It's actually stuck on whatever that is. Is that like a stomper? Maybe I don't know. It's kind of silly. Okay, well, we're not getting anywhere if you just stay here. And hopefully, it's stuck. So. Why don't we... No, it's not stuck. Of course not. Let's check out this tunnel, I guess. Can't be too bad, right? Uh -huh. Okay, we got a stair. That I can barely climb. Got a book. There's a creature. It's not following me. Maybe, it, maybe it's stuck on something else, or maybe it's not in a hurry. I don't know. Let, let's look around. Oh, key, key. Get it. Random lever, that's also good. What am I stuck on? Ow. Oh, right, the magma. It actually does hurt. And I don't have any healing magic, except for my potions, so I gotta be careful. With damage, there's nothing here, though. Okay, let's add the key to the key ring. Actually, 
now that the monster isn't here, why don't we read that read that book while we're in here? Seems to be safe for now. Uh, Mind logbook by Isaac Ethan, the foreman. Report 87, year 266, brown season, third day of the week of the eagle. After weeks and weeks of hard labor, we have finally discovered a vein of mithril. Ah. There was a cry of joy from the workers, and as they stood before the point where the vein of mithril emerged, they had tears in their eyes. Dwarves do like their shiny metals, don't they? It is situated far away to the east. As it is quite a long way from the grinding room, we built a track upon which wagons will transport the ore directly to the grinding room. Okay, well we saw some of those tracks actually, those hanging minecarts. Report 88, year 266, brown season, second day of the week of the rat. Since discovering the wane, we have dug in all directions from its initial starting point. When we mined north, we discovered a strange cavity. It seemed to be both natural and artificially dug out at the same time. There was a strong animal smell coming from it, and we thought it must be the den of some wild beast. As this is the week of the rat, I feel some trepidation about what the future holds for us. Well, that was quite the understatement. Seems that most of you are dead, maybe even all of you, and... Wait. Oh. Oh god. That's a dwarf head. That's split down the middle. That's an eye, not another eye, nostrils, and the mouth. Horrendous, actually. Blood everywhere. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here now. Where's the creature? I'm kind of worried about that a little bit. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. What does this do? Ooh, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you there. I'll keep doing that. <sighs> Hopefully it's stuck there forever now. Okay, now let's look around. This is blocked off. That's what I thought. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, as long as the creature isn't following us, we should be alright. So... Hold on. Hold on, I just had an idea. Didn't they say something about the grinding room? Maybe that stomper is actually the grinding room. But the stomper doesn't work. I actually pulled the lever, didn't I? I think I did, and nothing really happened. Looks like it's... Is that maybe the dwarf's beds? I mean, they're pretty small, but... You know, with, with some bedding and individual doors. Yeah. Maybe this is for the big cheese, like the foreman of a particular group, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Ah! I guess this is for a one-handed weapon, yeah. Another key. Another power stone. And another key. Very good. Now... Huh. So that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's like a dozen of these cozy beds in every room, so that's two dozen dwarves. I mean, I don't know if, if there were two dozen dwarves or, or if uh, they just had housing for... make that three dozen. Three dozen dwarves. But assuming that all of those beds were actually in use at, at some point, that doesn't bode well. I mean, that's like almost 40 dwarves that are probably dead and gone by now. We haven't seen any signs of any survivors so far. Only blood and guts and mutilated corpses. And another dozen or so. <sighs> so we're talking about uh, about 50 dwarves, probably, that uh, were slaughtered by this beast. It's pretty horrendous. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Ah, oh, well, you I'm not worried about. Little rats. It's more like it. Kind of running a little bit low on the torches. I mean, not yet, but I am a bit worried about that. Oh, another ventilation system. What? Ah, that's an evil hiding place. A little metal key. Very nice. Forge? That's what we were trying to reach, right? Uh huh. Something is bad. Something's wrong. Something is bad. Hmm. More tools. I always like that. Anything in here? Maybe another key or something? Does not appear to be the case. Too bad. So how do I actually use the forge? I mean, it said something about power stones, I think. I have a couple. Oh, weapon. How do I actually use them? Oh! Oh! Power source. I'm guessing I have to plug these in here. Yeah! I'm not sure what I did, but it is working. And this one also has one of these, so uh, let's plug that in. Uh, looks like I don't need to use magic to ignite any flames for the forge, because that's done by the power source itself. See that? There's actually fire up there, so that works in itself, that's good. Because honestly, I would have. Well, maybe I could have used a torch or something. But I am glad this worked out. Metal mining, okay. Well, if we're gonna get any uh, mithril, then it has probably got to happen here. And remember that Lockbook actually said that in the east there was mithril, so. Well, that's gold, that's also nice, but not what we came here for. Mithril, Mithril. Another power stone, I take that. A pile of mangled corpses, very nice. Very nice. Let's just explore everything pretty much. As long as the creature isn't after us, I think we're gonna be okay. How does this grow down here? Okay. Odd. Uh, metal. Uh, not mithril, just regular metal. Well, that sucks. Guess it's better than nothing, but not what we came here for. Hmm. I suppose I can try making a weapon with, uh, with regular metal, too, and see what happens then. Actually, if I find more gold, I could try... Let's attach them. I could try to make a, myself a golden sword, I suppose. I mean, it would be completely useless, because gold is such a weak metal. It's so weak that it would probably just bend when I hit anything with it. But uh, still, uh, you know, for, for style purposes, that would be kind of nice if I can make that. I'll try that if I get more gold. I'll try to create myself a... Uh, gold two-handed sword, I suppose. One thing I notice is that there are no torches anywhere, and no sconces either. So I'm guessing the dwarves can re see really well in the dark, because they just don't care about lighting these mining tunnels whatsoever. Which is kind of weird. Or maybe they had helmet lamps or helmet torches, I don't know. Also a pickaxe. I, you know, considering their technical, technological, or I don't know, make it maybe magical advances, I would ex I wouldn't expect the dwarves to actually still use pickaxes. I would have kind of expected them to. Oh, I don't know. 
I mean, look look at that power stone. Maybe maybe something like that, you know, a, a magic power source to power a, a magical jackhammer. Yeah, I could imagine that. Actually, it would be kind of an interesting weapon to try. A jackhammer, a magical one. We got more metal here. Oh, there's not a fern there. Almost missed that. No, that's not a fern. That's a dead rat. Never mind. Another power stone, blood, piece of paper, let's read it. Akanoa, I think we're about to run out of mithril. The situation becomes more disturbing every day, and I can't find even an ounce of mithril in our minds. We must find a solution without delay or attack. That must be actually older than... Uh, oh, I don't want to jump down there just yet, no, no. That uh, that note must actually be older than the mining lock because uh, they. Oh, but there is actually a fern here. Um, because the lock said that they did find a vein of mithril, which was when they encountered the lair of that black monster. Don't know what that is actually. It looks like maybe it's a jaguar of some sort or something. Seems that the dwarves mine too greedily and too deep and unleash the shadow from below. But it's not a shadow of flame, so it's alright, I guess. Actually, no, because everybody's dead, so forget that I said that. Hmm. Okay, let's climb down. Oh! Guess I can't quite figure out how to climb ladders. Also, I let go the moment I look away from the... Yeah, look at that. Horrible. There's a ledge to my right. See that? I want to actually jump on that, so... Ah, there we go. No, 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 I'm sliding off. Okay. Good thing the black creature isn't here. Otherwise, it would just... Gobble me up right now. Well, actually, it doesn't do that. It seems to tear people apart and then kill them. So, I guess that's a comfort. At least you'd be dead by the time it eats you. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, shiny. Very nice. But not what I'm here for. Uh, any mithril around, maybe. What the... Incoming way out. Some sort of symbol there. Okay. Let's try a power stone. See, that's what I mean. That's some kind of techno-magical device. I don't know what it does. Weird. Well, we'll see about that. For now, yeah, I am definitely running a bit low on torches now. Let's try and climb up here and see what we can find. Huh. Looks like another corpse, although I'm not sure how the monster. Ah, oh, torch. How the monster actually managed to get over here. I mean, this looks way too unstable to. It's really rickety. It doesn't look like something that would support the creature at all. Okay, here we go. More metal. Ooh, actually, that's a big chunk of mithril. Very nice. Can't pick it up. I guess it's too big for me to actually put it in my inventory. So why don't I carry it with me? No, actually. I mean, why would there be such a device here? Maybe incoming, so this is where I put it. Maybe this will, like, split it apart or turn it into ingots, like, like into that box. And then I should arrive over here. No. I gotta put it in the way out. Uh, 
Um, okay, it's gone. That's not good. Um, I hope that wasn't the only Mithril because I might be screwed otherwise. I, I don't know. Let, let's see. Actually, I have a bit of a suspicion that... Yeah, l l let's keep going. <sighs> Maybe there are some more rooms that I haven't explored yet. Got a couple of kind of damaged torches. I should use those, actually. Rather than the uh, new ones. Okay. Check that. Maybe it, uh... No. I, I kinda hope the mithril would be here, but actually... If I'm right and that stomper thing in one of the earlier rooms is actually a... Crusher. Maybe that's what we use to crush the mithril ore. Uh, into more manageable sizes so I can actually pick them up. And if that's the case, then maybe I can actually crush the monster with them. Yeah, that would be worth a try. In fact, it should still be there, so... But I tried the lever, that didn't work. Except, um, I do have more power stones. Maybe I just need to plug in another power source. I didn't really try that. Hmm. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I'm just a bit worried. Is there any places that I haven't investigated? I guess to the left here I didn't really look yet. Or did I? Actually I did. This is where... Where I came from. Oh, it's... I'll never be able to remove all this myself. Blocked off now. Can't even remove it with the pickaxe. Okay, so I guess I'm kind of locked in. That's all right. Let's go to the uh, crusher room. Yeah, the creature's still there. Actually, there's the mithril. There's a yeah, it's over there. Okay, well that creature is suddenly a lot less scary when it's stuck like that. So that's good. It's the ugliest sin. Look at that thing. It's not just a jaguar, it's something much worse. It has lots of spikes. I'm guessing it's something really old. Maybe prehistoric even. Oh, yeah, it can jump actually. Look at that. Horrible. So, yeah, the crusher doesn't work, right? Meaning I need to power it. An energy source anywhere where I can plug it in. Don't jump now. Wait, I think that's it. See that little thing there? But if I jump now, it'll probably just kill me, won't it? Whoa, that was close. Okay. We go, power source is installed. Now don't eat me. Okay, the, the, the thing is now in its upward position. Let's try crushing it. Of course it'd have to be in the right position for that. Don't think it'll do me the favor actually. Maybe I can bait it with dwarven flesh. I mean, it seems to have a taste for dwarven flesh, right? Let's try that. What happens if I f throw it down there? Oh no, that's wrong. That's entirely wrong. Let's throw it this way. Nope. Damn it. These are dwarf ribs. Need to 
throw them at the right spot if I'm supposed to. Now it's floating, of course, so that's great. Okay, I think I actually have to get down there. That's dangerous. Okay, eat that. Eh. Okay, it's it's in the vicinity of where it's supposed to be, I think. It's kind of there. Eat that. There's meat for you there. Don't you like dwarf meat? What's it doing? Looks like it's about to strike or jump or I don't know what. Maybe it needs more dwarf meat. Okay, that's two pieces of dwarf, so eat it! Rather than me. No, no, it does not want the... Ow! It's not good. Not good enough. I need to get out of here and quick because I'm pretty much dead. Okay, I'd oh, look at that. Even the uh, healing potion doesn't work properly. Yeah. Oh, it's eating. No, no. It's it already finished eating. Crap. I think it ate one. One of the chunks. Did I just waste my opportunity there? Come on, get back in there. Eat that thing. Okay, this is kind of hard. Yeah, I think it actually did eat one of them. Needs to be right in the middle there of the corpse that's... Ow! 